Welcome back learners to Nizup Ma'am ke online classes. So today we are going to do chapter 3 input and output devices. So let's start. You're wondering what it is. So first we have to learn what is input. So input is when user gives data and instructions to computer. It is known as input and when computer gives result according to that data and instructions to the user. It is known as output. So when data and instructions are given to a computer. It is considered as input. And when computer provides results, it is known as output. Input output devices or IO devices or peripheral. The devices that allow such input and output are known as input output devices, in short, IO devices or peripherals. Input output devices are means of communication between the user and computer. Yes, for the interaction of user with the computer, input output devices are necessary. Now, we will begin our first concept that is input devices and that has six menus. We will see which menus are there. So the first menu is keyboard, point and draw, scanning, electronic card based, speech recognition, vision based. So we will understand what is input devices. So an input device is a device that provides input to the computer. The most common input devices are keyboard and mouse. Every key you press on the keyboard and every moment or click you make with the mouse sends a specific input signal to the computer. For example, now I am showing a PPT, so I am entering, I am clicking enter button, so it is sending a specific input signal or you can see my moving cursor, so it is, I am sending a specific input signal to the computer. Next thing we will see is keyboard menu. So keyboard is the most popular and commonly used input device. Keyboard generally has more than 100 keys, and a keyboard allows entering alphabets, digits and symbols into the computer. In today's era, keyboards with 104 keys are used most. Keyboard is also known as the text-based input device. As you are giving text as an input to your computer, it is known as text-based input device. Then, next thing we will see types of keys in keyboard. So first we have English alphabets that is A to Z, then 0 to 9 digits, then mathematical operators that is division, multiplication, fraction, addition. Then we have punctuation marks, function keys, F1 to F12 for various functions, enter or return key used for execution of an instructions, then spacebar to add a space, then backspace to move cursor one position back, delete to delete a character or an object at the right side of the cursor position, shift keys. To type capital letters and special characters located on the upper side of the key and caps lock to toggle between the capital lock features, tab to move the cursor to the next tab position for indentation, then control keys to be used in conjunction with other keys to provide additional functionality. It can be used with F1 to F12 keys, so it will provide more functions. Then Alt keys, they are used in combination with other keys to perform specific tasks. Then Escape key to cancel or abort executing. So we will see these keys practically also. Yes, so we have our notepad open here. So first we will see about Enter key. Press Enter key in keyboard, it will go in the next lines. Then we use Backspace to make it come up. Then Spacebar, you can add space with Spacebar. And if you write anything, for example, I write a word here and now remove character from it. You can use backspace. Then delete is used. But here delete has a different function. Delete key deletes a character from its right side. So for example, if I want to remove UTER, I will go for delete and it will remove only the characters on the right side. Then shift key to type capital letters. I use shift key for typing this word. Or I can use it for typing the symbols which are on the upper side of the keys. Then, then caps lock key. Caps lock key, when you activate caps lock key, every letter will be returned in capital letter without using shift key. Then tab. Tab to move the cursor to the next tab position. So till now we were giving space bars, but if you want a specific space to be added, you can go for tab. So tab gives specific indentation. Then control. Control is to be used with other keys. For example, I will show you a function here. For now, we will copy this and paste. So for copying, Control plus C is used. And for pasting it, we will paste it another line, giving a tab. We will paste it by Control plus V and here you go. Then we have Alt key. Alt key can be used with other 
and escape it doesn't have use here then numlock so if i activate numlock and i type numerical output then we will see our next topic here we have our next menu that is point and draw in point and draw menu there are two devices first is mouse so we will see about mouse mouse is a small device used to point a particular place on the screen and select in order to perform one or more actions it can be used to select menu commands resize window selecting actions from screen icons etc the most conventional kind of mouse has two or three buttons on its top these buttons are used for different action as you can see in image this has two buttons and one scroll bar now we will see uses of mouse that is left click is used to select an item double click is used to start a program or open a file or trigger an action then right click usually used to display a set of commands and available options drag and drop it allows you to select and move an item from one location to other scroll many applications provide scroll bars on the right side of the screen if the page length is more than the monitor screen instead of using page down key or arrow keys one can use scroll key of mouse to scroll up or down and it is very convenient if the scroll key is not available one can click on the scroll bar on the application screen without the left button of the mouse we will see this practically also so here we have our desktop and first we will go for left click so if i click left our specific item is selected here then double click if i go for double click it will open this file for me then right click it is displaying a context menu that is open print edit and all these options then we have drag and drop we can change its location from one place to another for example i have changed the location here or you can do this in files too then scroll here i will show you this is known as scroll bar and you can scroll with the help of this scroll bar then we have our next device that is joystick joystick is used as an input device primarily used with video games training simulators and controlling robots this joystick is used for pilot training also you may have seen this while playing games also then the joystick is a vertical stick which moves the graphic cursor this is vertical stick we are talking about and this will move the graphic cursor in a direction of the stick when the stick is moved it has a button on the top that is used to select the option pointed by the cursor then we have our next menu that is scanning first of all there are five types of scanning devices image scanner barcode scanner optical character reader optical mark reader that is omr magnetic in character recognition so first we will see what basically means scanning devices so photos maps and high quality documents can be directly scanned to the computer scanning devices directly look at the input and enters the collected data into the computers there is no need to enter anything from keyboard or select anything from the screen only scan command is used to be given and the data entry is done directly it saves time and reduces typing errors too then we will see image scanner image scanner is just like the copier machine in which the document needs to be placed and the photo of the document will be stored in a computer memory in digital form in copier machine we get a hard output here we get stored in the computer memory in digital form then the document is now converted into an electronic image you can call it as e image also this image can be sent to other computer and further it can be copied and printed wherever you want then we have barcode scanner you may have seen this in big malls and all so scanner in shopkeeper's hand which reads barcode in a shop this type of scanner is known as handheld scanner yes which can be holded in hand then barcode is made up of parallel strings of different thickness as you can see here in image it is made up of parallel strings made up of different thickness then there is a standard coding system called upc that is universal product code scanners read this barcode printed in upc format and converted into appropriate value then we have optical character reader scanners have facility to recognize character from the image that is from the scanned image of the character here you can see you have a scanner here and you have an image here so it will extract the text from this image so that is from the scanned image of the character computer can identify the character this is done by matching image of a scanned character with the stored image of the character with this facility the document image can be converted into a document which can be further modified 
which is editable document. This type of scanner is known as optical character reader. Then we move forward, that is OMR, that is optical mark reader. Sometimes scanners identify marks done by special type of pen or pencil. This type of scanner is known as optical mark reader, that is OMR. So this type of machines are used to check our OMR sheets. An OMR sheet that consists of answers marked on a sheet for a multiple choice question paper, yes. Then we have magnetic ink character recognition, that is MICR. So as you can see, here is our machine, MICR. And here is check. So in this check, codes are made up of special magnetic ink, that is iron oxide. FEO. It is made up of iron oxide and this MICR recognizes it and it is mostly used in banks. So we will see more about it. So MICR is a technology that is prevalent in banking industry. It is used for faster processing of checks. This technology allows reading of information such as account numbers directly from the printed documents. MICR codes can be easily read and understood by humans while barcodes though easily read cannot be easily understood by humans. Yes, MICR codes are very easy to understand, but barcodes cannot be understood though. So here the content is written using special magnetic ink that is prepared from iron oxide that is FEO, as I told you earlier. Then we will see electronic card reader. So electronic card reader reads content from small plastic cards called electronic cards. So you may have seen this electronic card, e-card in banks or as debit card, credit cards. Some of may be using it also. So the data is read from the card and transferred to the computer. Bank ATM, that is automatic teller machine, cards and credit cards are such small plastic cards that contain information about the card holder. The information about the current transaction, say current bill purchase, is added from the card reader device. Then speech and vision devices. Speech input is used for long dictation of text for correspondence as well as to develop fully automated system that operates on speech. So in today's era, we have many speech input devices that is Alexa, Google, you have Google Assistant, you're on your phones and CD and Bixby. All of these are speech and vision devices. So instead of entering commands by typing or selecting or scanning, direct voice commands can be given. Consider you have a fully electronic house that opens door for you when you say Kulja Simpson. Then it would be fun, right? It would be so much fun. Then second we have is vision input. That is, vision input is used for robots performing risky tasks like driving plane and performing surgery. Such input mechanisms is very useful for people who are differently abled and generally finds difficulties in operating typical computer systems. Camera is also used as input device like in laptops for automatic authentication of user through facial recognition. Nowadays, facial re recognition is available in phones also. It's not a big deal today. Then it is also used for deciphering QR codes and reading barcodes. Yes, we obviously do it when we go to any mall or we have to do any payment. We just scan QR code. And yes, that's it. That's what we are giving a vision input to our phone or to our device. Then second concept we have is about output devices. Now computer calculated results must be provided to its user, right? So to provide those results, output devices are used. Then commonly used output devices are monitor and printer. Following list presents different output devices. So here is our following list that is monitor, printer, projector, plotter, voice response. So there are four menus. We will see them. The first menu is monitor. Monitors are commonly used output devices and they are very common in use for output devices. Then the output is presented on computer visual television like screen. This output is just for viewing purpose and hard copy print on paper cannot be taken. That is why it is called soft copy output. Hard copy output we will have in printer and in monitor we will have soft copy output. The cathode ray tube, that is CRT, the image which you are seeing, it is monitors, this type of monitors, that is CRT monitors, used very less in today's era, but it were the most used in earlier times. And flat monitors are used to display information. Like this, flat monitors which you are seeing an image, that is of LCD and LED, are very popular because they are thinner in size and lighter in weight. Then, 
Flat monitors use technology of LCD that is liquid crystal display and LED that is light emitting diodes. The next thing we have is printer. The printer provides hard copy output that is output on paper and there are varieties of printers that print content in different way. So we will see different types of printers. First we have dot matrix printer. Some printers print content character by character, hence called character printer or dot matrix printer. These printers are cheaper and slow. Next we have is line printer. Other printers print line by line and are called line printers. Then inkjet printer as the name suggests ink. So another category of printers print contained by spraying small drops of ink. Such printers are called inkjet printers. Inkjet printers are slower and costlier than the dot matrix printer. Laser printer. The most used in today's era is laser printer and we will see about it. What is it? So similarly, there are printers available that create the image of whole page and print the whole page at a time using laser technology. This type of printers is called laser printer. Laser printers are fastest and costly in comparison with other printers. But it has an advantage that it is fastest. So in today's era, as you can see, that is time is money people go more for this laser printers. Then we have our third menu that is projector. Output of a computer is projected on a bigger flat surface like wall or screen through an output device called projector. You may have seen this in your schools for study materials and all. So teaching material with text, image, sound, graph and animation can be prepared and projected on the surface for better viewing and better learning of students, right? Such projectors are very useful for learning, demonstrating and presenting content. And for presenting content, it is used in more a professional office. You may have gone to theater or you have may watch a cricket match with the help of projector also. Then a software that helps in preparing such content for presentation are available. Like for making PPTs, you can use Microsoft Office and all. Then we have voice response. Stored voice and converted voice from given text can be presented to users who do not want to see or read output on monitor, projector or printer. Yes, today we have that facility of read aloud in PDFs also. Today we have Alexas also who give us voice response. Then video games, automatic answering machines that is Alexas and all Google assistants and all of these are automatic answering machines. Alarms and signals etc are the application that need voice output. So here we complete our input and output devices. Thank you for watching and if you have any query you can go for the details given on the screen and stay tuned in for next video. I hope you like this video. Thank you.